Hi, welcome to PLC course. In this video, we will learn more about input, output signals of PLC and also about signal modules or input, output, I.O. modules. Remember that signal modules are also called I.O. modules, and here, I means input and O means output. Before discussing PLC's input and output module, we need to talk about the types of signals used in electrical devices. What is a signal? The signal is a set of information that can transfer from one place to another place in the form of electrical current or electromagnet that varies with respect to time. It represents a physical quantity or variable. Generally, there are two types of signals that are widely used in devices, digital signals and analog signals. Let's differentiate both. Digital signals. Digital signals are worked on the base of zero and one logic. It means this signal has only two values, zero and one, and it can be either zero or one at a time. For example, a signal coming from a simple switch is digital because it has only two positions, on and off. The output signal can be high or low. High call 1 and low called 0. Many input devices in the industry produce digital signals. Like switches and push buttons, limit switches, proximity sensors, photoelectric sensors and pressure switches, analog signals. An analog signal is any continuous signal that's value changes over time. For example, in an analog audio signal, the instantaneous voltage of the signal varies continuously with the pressure of the sound waves. The values of the analog signals are usually 4 mA to 20 mA, or sometimes 0 to 10 volts. The output of a temperature sensor is analog. Let's explain the working of the most common type of temperature sensor to understand the analog signals. The PT100 has a resistance of 100 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius and 138.4 ohms at 100 degrees Celsius. So the resistance changes continuously from 0 degrees to 100 degrees. The signal generated by this sensor will be analog. Because current passing through it will change continuously according to the resistance. Here are some examples of sensors that are generating analog outputs. Microphones. Photocells, light-sensitive resistors. Temperature sensors. Force-sensitive resistors. Distance sensor. Liquid level sensor and variable resistor. Now, let's discuss the types of modules according to the signals. Signal modules have four types. Digital Input Module and Digital Output Module Analog Input Module and Analog Output Module Digital Input Module The modules which can read digital input and connected to the digital input devices are called Digital Input Modules. Digital Output Module This module gives digital output and it is connected to switching devices are called Digital Output Module. The output devices that can have two conditions only, on or off, are connected to the digital output module. For example, solenoid valve, electromagnetic relay, magnet contactor, motor starter and indicators, analog input module. The module that can read analog input and connect to analog input devices are called analog input modules. Analog Output Module This module gives analog output signals and is connected to devices that operate on analog signals are called an analog output module. In other words, the analog output module gives the output to the devices that can have many positions rather than two only. For example, speed control of motor can be controlled by analog output module by giving the analog signal to VFD. The example of analog output devices is Proportional valve and VFD, variable frequency drive for motors 
I hope you have understood analog, digital signals, and modules very well. In the next video, we will discuss more on it with the help of a practical example. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it also. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it and press the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.